queens and handsome kings doing this morning how you all doing welcome to another day and another vlog um as you can see um i just got through doing my morning devotion um, so far my morning been great and productive um i I'm actually still in bed when i was doing my devotion i was just sitting in my bed um also i had got up i made me an iced coffee using that good that cold brew i was telling you all about y'all and i said that cold brew so good that cold brew ain't really stand a chance to be at, you know, last. And I'm thinking it was going to last me like two weeks. I've been drinking that cold brew every, mostly every single day since I've been, since I purchased it. Um, I did have, um, what else I did? Yeah, I made, I, for breakfast this morning, I just did a, a, one of those bagels that I told y'all that I had purchased when I did my Instacart of, of cinnamon raisin bagel and I had cream cheese on it. I didn't really have a taste for a uh, full breakfast this morning. So I ate that and drank the coffee. And most of the time when I drink coffee, it just fills me up anyway. And um, I do go to work this evening. I work from three to nine. I'm just so used to, you know, the morning shifts where I probably will already be at work, but it is what it is. Cause like I say, with my job, there's no set schedule anyway. It's, you know, it's whatever the uh, functions, when the functions is, um, you know, schedule for a certain time. That's how the um, that's how my supervisor schedule her um, shifts. So, yeah, I do go in today. I'm really so tired. I, I mean, when I say I don't even feel like getting up out the bed, but I did get up and did my skincare routine, brush my teeth and stuff like that. So, the only thing I got to do is take my shower and get up and iron my clothes. But like I say, it's just number um, nine somewhere I'm at. So, I I, I don't I'm. I'm gonna probably leave my house about one something because um, like I was telling y'all the bus that run by my way they run like every hour and a half every hour and 40 some minutes so normally when I have to be at work at a certain time I always like to leave like an hour earlier before time in order to catch the bus to you know get there on time or close to the time and it's time for me to clock in because I'm really like 10 15 minutes away from my job but yeah, um, I did my morning devotion. It was a very deep study for me. Um, very encouraging scripture. I actually got that scripture from, um, I was watching one of I Am Shelly old videos. And I have remembered it when I was fixing my bagel this morning. And I just uh, memor memorized the scripture and then I went to that book. But I ended up reading that whole particular book. I kind of came out of Jeremiah 17. And I just ended up reading that whole chapter, but the verse was consists of um, verse seven. But I end up I highlighted verse seven, but I end up reading the whole thing. Then I did my soap method today because I told y'all y'all know I've been still doing um, studying the book of Job. I probably end up depending on how my day be today tonight when I get off, I might end up um, reading that book of. Uh, Read, you know, read a, another chapter of Job tonight, or if not, I just do it tomorrow when I get off. I do tomorrow. I have an earlier day for work. I don't have to be there till six thirty in the morning to two. But I don't know. I've been thinking about because I do have some plans for an upcoming video that I want to work on, the self love journey video. And I was thinking about when I had got off of work tomorrow that I had wanted to go try to uh, uh, film some scenes downtown in the park. I think with that video, I've been trying to come up with ideas. I think I'm gonna make that like a visual diary. I love those kind of uh, video content ideas. And with that video, I'm not gonna do no talking. I'm just give you all pretty much visuals of um, the storyline that I'm trying to tell you. I probably just get, you know, probably just play some relaxing music and maybe share a little word and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not gonna really just too much talk in that, that particular video. I already created the thumbnail. I've been made the thumbnail like two weeks ago. So I think I'm gonna try to film that video for you all. I do got another video already pre-recorded that I gotta upload. I probably won't upload that one to Sunday. And then I also got another one that I gotta edit it. It's like I already got from my other phone. The phone that I'm talking to, the, the recording that I'm talking to you all now with this phone, this actually my phone that I, um receive calls and have contact on because y'all know i told y'all i've been recording a lady from two different phones so but the other video that's already um it um uh, recorded i just got it um edited and uh get it um exported and stuff like that so i just been trying to come up with ideas on how i want to do that self-love video 
But yeah, y'all, I'm just sitting here until it's time for me to uh, get ready and stuff like that. So I can see the sun. I don't know, just something about that sun when it's shining. It's just sun so pretty. Um, it's not so hot right now, but um, yeah. Um, but yeah, y'all, I just wanted to come in and start this vlog off. Like I say, I really don't even feel like getting up, getting up, going to work, but I got to get up and go. Um, I was just sitting here thinking this a lot of stuff I just been thinking about. I had like a little deep conversation yesterday with a friend of mine. So we were just talking about, you know, how life is and, you know, the challenges and, you know, things people face with life. But yeah, I just, like I said, like I tell people, I just keep this world prayed up and stay prayed up because it's just so much, uh, so much going on, you know, that um, we don't have no control over. And I've just been trying to stay prayed up myself because I know these last couple weeks, you know, um, the devil been trying to get me discouraged, you know, because like I say, I've been worrying about how I'm going to manage to pay my bills and how this bill going to get paid. Bills study doubling up and, you know, it's just so sad when you not how to making a lot of money. But your bills is your your expenses is more than what you bring at home for your income, and it's just really sad. And it's almost getting to the point like you know, like what's the purpose of working so hard when I'm you know trying to pull in extra extra hours, you know, when I volunteer to work other departments, but it's still not exceeding enough to pay all my bills, you know. But I, I just been praying and manifesting. I just been continue to trust in God, and I just been asking God if He could just continue to heal me, give me strength, because it just it's so much. You know, I was listening to one of my friends, and you know, she was telling me about some things she was facing, and I told her I'm so sorry to hear that, and I told her I was gonna keep her pray, lifted up. It just so it just so much. Like people just really hurting out here. People really going through a lot. And you just you just be surprised. And you know, one thing I dislike about what people do, the ones that might not be going through a lot like others, they try to down folks and tell people, Oh, you, you need to stop doing this or um don't can't nobody feel sorry for you. That's one reason why I, I'm learning every day to not share certain things with people no more. I stopped talking to people. That's kind of one reason why I started my YouTube channel too, besides creating memories, is because I didn't have nobody to talk to. So I feel like if I can talk to the camera and, you know, I know somebody going to watch the video, that helps get, get my mind off, you know, a lot of stuff. Because like I say, nowadays, you just really don't know who to trust. You know, sometimes you can't overshare certain things with people without you know it being brought back to you or somebody talking about you and stuff like that but um yeah i, I it, it's just sad y'all but i just keep this world i just keep everyone lifted up in my prayers and stuff and i just send everyone a virtual hug and stuff like that you know if someone might be battling or going through something because i know it's life life really been life in these last couple of years it has you know the um the world changed when i say the world changed forever it has you know it, it, it sometimes i look up like i most time like y'all can tell when i when i say i've been on a very strict budget because i can't even afford to go to a, um i don't even have to shop at walgreens no more i know in a, a couple of my earlier vlogs i used to always tell y'all i um headed to walgreens if i want going to the dollar store I have been to Walgreens in maybe over six months now, and I'm surprised because normally I used to go to Walgreens more than I shopped at the Dollar General store. That just goes shows you how time's getting, you know. And um, but yeah, yeah, I, I just I I just pray, you know, I pray for better days. I pray that you know this too shall pass and it get better because, you know, people shouldn't have to go, you know, people shouldn't have to suffer and go through. You know what they dealing with you know and then these people like i really don't like to get into politics and stuff like that you you know they i remember i was always taught when i got 18 to get out and vote vote is you know voting is important that's why i was told i was told these things but my thing is you voting for these people and they claiming they're gonna do right by the you know do right by the world and stuff like that but you don't see no type of progress like these people saying they want you to vote for them but they not doing what they supposed to do like it's so many when i say people is really out here suffering and hurting and then the mental health is is, is so high it's on the rise like we was like i was talking to my friend yesterday 
and we were talking about how you know how mental health is within the youth and i say yeah that's true but it's not just only youth you got a lot of those going through mental health a lot of single moms you know battling with you know mental health and you know trying to figure out how they're going to provide for their children or you know their child or children put food on the table how they're going to be able to pay their bills and stuff like that it's just not only the youth but you know the youth is affected a lot you know because there have been a lot of things here in the city happening like far as mental health wise and it's on the rise you know and it's just so sad but a lot of it got to do with the world change i already know that since the pandemic the mental health has risen you know and not too many people talk about it you know that's why when i come on when i share certain things with you all and i come on my channel you know i i, I be speaking from my heart but like i say you know it, it just i don't try to scare people off but i always like to be real you know i like to make my content realist as realistic as possible because these are real days in my life that i be recording but it's just, it's really sad though. You know, I wish, you know, there was something could be done. Cause I always said if the Lord had ever blessed me someday to become financially stable, where I make more money, I would like to give back to my community because I hate to see people out here hurting. You know, it's like since the pandemic, when I say the homeless rate here in the city has risen, it's so many homeless people and it brings tears to my eyes. Sometimes I, I have to try to stay lifted up to keep from crying. I never seen so many homeless people sleeping in parks, hanging around stores and stuff like that. And it's like, it's nothing being done here. It's nothing being done here in the city. It, it's nothing, you know? And I, I just don't understand. You know, you got all these big people in the seats. They don't have no type of care in the world. You know, then these people constantly building high-rise apartments, ain't making nothing affordable, not even for working people. Working people just as struck, suffering and struggling too as much as people that's not working, you know. So it's just, it's, it's, it's been a lot going on, but you know, despite, it is, despite of everything that's been happening, I just been trying to stay prayed up. That's why I tell people, if it weren't for me staying connected with God and reading my word, I, I, I just, I really don't know. I probably would be kind of a little confused and lost and stuff like that. So that's why I always try to read read my Bible and, you know, study the best way I can. But, yeah, I ain't going to ramble too much, y'all. I did want to just come off and start this video, uh, this vlog off this morning and just say how you all doing and welcome to another day in the video.
I'm gonna just gonna put this boil this water. It'd be really hard for me to show y'all right um, like the, the cooking scenes, but hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. Let me turn this boil. 